Welcome back, folks. I think I fixed the uh, the iron line and the coal lines. So basically what I've done is just using one platform here, going around on the outside uh, and not mixing the, uh, the train stations at all or the lines at all. So they are completely separate now and we can do away with this. And this should get the lines going as smoothly as possible, which is great. So you are unloaded, go, go. So I, I think we need to give them a little bit of time to loosen up and hopefully everything will be fine. We do have uh, signals. Yes, we do. All the way, and everything seems to be working. So hopefully these lines will start uh, producing quite a bit more. Quite a bit more. Well, uh, we do have a lot of bricks sitting here for um, for the Liverpool and Manchester brick supply. So we might want to get a few more trucks on that. Yeah, just a couple more at least. Uh, let's see, let's clone two of them. So we have 12 for now. Hopefully this will mean that we start seeing this uh, fill up for the uh, for the London goods production so that we get more and more steel going down here to the London goods. Right now it's just not getting enough. Nowhere near enough. Uh, so hopefully this will fix it. And those two, we can't have more than two trains on the coal line, that's for sure. So what is the coal line's rate now? 554. What is the steel line or the iron lines now? 422. I'm not sure if another train on that will help us in any way. But I think we're going to try it. Uh, I think we're going to try it. Because the trains are as long as they can get. The trains are as long as they can get. But we do have one sitting here waiting all the time, which I don't like. But I think probably one more on there would be worth the trouble. I am having some trouble with my headphones. I am sorry. Uh, you guys can't hear it, I, I think. But I certainly can. I lose sound uh, for uh, a few seconds now and then, which is really kind of annoying. And whoa, I hope you guys didn't hear that. If you did, I apologize. Uh, let's see, buildings. If we stick a depot. in something like here and then do tracks and we just want regular ones we'll come in actually I think we'll come in here
and make it a double slip switch and then we'll come out from there and go in there so that we have that connected up as well we will turn this into a double slip switch and now we can clone you so we get another train on that line and it should be coming out now yes all right so this train actually started moving before this one was waiting which is good you're out of there so it'll need a little bit of time it'll need a little bit of time that's okay uh, what is the rate of you so if it's 550 then it's 275 that we want the rate of this to be is 331 so let's see that our rate here it went up to 668 which is obviously too much but better than having too little so I think this will eventually solve itself now down here we got all of this going we have a few people waiting to go to Lyon and how full of you eight uh, up to Paris we have nine people waiting And up here, we have a ton of people waiting to go to Brussels, 252. All right. It's not a passenger train. Where's there a passenger train there? We're not quite full. I think we'll just have to wait a little bit on this and see if it doesn't get better. So down here we do have oh that looks terrible <laughs> what does that what is that house doing there that one house that looks so weird i would not feel safe living there i don't think and the noise is going to be horrible and we're, we're certainly not going to be able to get a track going in there i want a track to go into lyon but that doesn't look like okay we'll figure that out eventually over in uh, we have wow, 129 passengers waiting 402 waiting to go via hamburg 22 and 63 and up here we have 233 so we definitely need another passenger train on here Uh, do we have more than one or do we only have one i think we only have one well let's find out passenger train is there uh if i can hit the tr train that would be useful uh no we have two trains on here but i think we need another i think we need another how are the lines doing? Are we profitable on everything? No. But it's damn close. Goods to Hamburg. Plastic to London. It's not quite making money. No, nope, now it is. Brussels goods supplies is not making money. And tools to Gdansk is not making money, but it will be. The Berlin tram is not quite making money, but it will. So I think... I think we will be making money everywhere. Which is great. Um, let's see, are you coming in with any goods? Yeah, 42. 27. 29 bricks. 69 goods okay so i think 
I think we will see that we start making money everywhere. We have these Leong goods lines created, but we don't have any vehicles on them, but that's in, that's on purpose. That's on purpose. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. How is London doing for food? Not great, but it is getting some. It is getting some. And it doesn't look like we are getting... Backlog, which is annoying. Uh, what is your rate? 333 now. Okay. I don't really think there's a point in having another train on that line for the coal. I really don't think so. We just want to get uh, wagons that can carry more, I think. Or maybe we can put one more wagon on each. So they're 74 meters long right now. What car is it that we have? Cargo. I wish I remembered which cars it is that we have on here. Um, a little auto save. Two, three axle narrow gauge gondolas. I think it's this one. Let's try and add one. That takes us up to 82 meters. I th think that's okay. Let's see if they'll fill up. Yeah, they will. All right, good. That gives us a little bit more on that. And on this one, we have a rate of 496 only. But I think that'll get better. Because we just need them to space out a bit. We need to get moving down there. Uh, let's uh, stop you for a second. Stop you for a second. And you can go now. And I think you can go now. Uh, maybe. Man, I can't see a thing for all the smoke. Uh, signals. Maybe we can get a uh, signal a little bit closer here. And then. Hopefully, this helps a little bit. This signal is on this one, so we'll pull those. That signal. Okay. It seems like it's just going to be a problem that they're sitting there waiting. Yeah. Right, we have a train in there now.
You know what I think I'm gonna do? Once you get in and start loading, I'll stop you. And stop. Wait until this one gets a little bit down there. And start. Alright. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Go, go, go. I don't think it's going to help. In the slightest. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Eh. Maybe, who knows? So... Let's just play around with these signals a bit. So when you're stopped there, what's the closest we can have a signal there? Then we will bulldoze that signal and we will put in a new one down there. I think these are way too far from each other. Uh, let's just pause for a second. That's not what I wanted to click. Uh, and we'll bulldoze. Oh, you're fine. They really don't need to be that far away from each other, do they, the signals? Uh, so we'll put one in here, here, and here. And let's see how that goes. So you're all the way up there and stopping now. Okay. You're out of there before that one comes in. Suppose we could move this signal up a little bit. I don't know. I mean, we could move that all the way up here, I think. And then just bulldoze that one. Put another one in there. Bulldoze that one. And then this one I don't think matters. I really don't think it matters. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, 522, it's better. And you are at 613. And would you look at that? We actually have some steel sitting here waiting. The next truck is there. So how much steel will we have sitting here? And how much do you carry? You carry seven. So we have enough for like four trucks sitting here right now. Not bad. Okay. Uh, 
and your rate is 332, which is enough, it should be enough, because we use two and two for one steel. But look at the production here, it has actually gone up quite a bit, which is great. I think we're doing better. Uh, Brussels Lyon Express is losing money right now, but that will change. There it goes. Plastic to London goods production is losing money. No, it's not. All right, all right. And the Brussels Lyon Express actually needs to be renamed, doesn't it? Uh, so, trains, Brussels Lyon Express is now the Brussels Marseille Express. Alrighty. Now. Vienna. lake here it's very much in the way of everything I want to do might have to landscape that a bit because I want I think I want the Vienna train station to be here on the other side of uh, the river and then we'll come down here skip Budapest and come into Belgrade on this side of Belgrade. Because I do want to get this going down here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I'm also considering setting up a train route to between Glasgow, London, or Glasgow, Liverpool, and London, and then getting it going down to Paris. I think that would be a good train route to get done. I kind of want the London station to be in here in the middle. Possibly an underground station. Yeah. So if we take a look at that, uh, we're a little bit too far in to start actually building it, but. Just look at passenger. I want underground. Underground station. An underground station, something like in here. And then we'll come across and down to Paris. So, let's see, what do we have, we want two tracks, uh, electrified track, uh, force to use, what does that mean? platform length the platform length is going to be 320 uh, the radius what's the radius what 
What's the radius do? I have no idea what the radius does. That was the infinite thing. It only costs 20,000 to put in? That's cheap. But I really want it to be in here. Platform floor pattern. Kind of like that one. Okay. You know what, let's try it. At least an engine and a platform that were needed to finalize an underground station. Okay. get an entry. Oh. Um. Okay. I think uh, we got an entry there. It looks like there's some stairs down there. Right? So is it in? Uh, oh wait, stairs, downstairs, uh, stairs to a lower level. I don't think we need that, do we? Track cat, platform, cargo, I don't want cargo in there. Track. We want standard track, but hey, we have that. Is it done? Well, there is London there, but can we get in there? I think we have to bulldoze some of these houses, possibly. Uh, oops. I didn't mean to ring your doorbell, sorry, I, mean, I, I meant to knock your house down. Uh, so, we have this. How do I get it going up? Uh, stairs. What if I do that? Now then we just have three stairs. I don't want that. I can't fix that. Okay. What does this do? That goes down deeper. Okay. That is not what we want. I think we might be deleting this station. Uh, yes. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, underground station. Okay. If we put that in there... Then... Now... How do I get passengers down there?
Mm. Okay, there are these uh, icons here. Whoops. Why are they up there in the air? Uh, oh, my mouse is a little bit too fast right now. I'm not sure how this works, guys. But if I do the uh, tracks. Uh, like that. There's a collision somewhere. No, there isn't. So we can come down like that. And hopefully go under here. But the question is... Does this station work? I have my doubts. Uh, you know what? I think I'll try and maybe figure this out in between episodes, and and then we'll uh, we'll see. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll have to uh, figure this out in the next one. I will check it out and uh, and try and figure it out before I record the next one because this is a little bit little bit confusing, a little bit confusing. Uh, is there a the stair doesn't really reach up top, does it? Doesn't really reach up top. So yeah. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.